always found art very therapeutic and relaxing, but I have never had much experience with different types of art. Taking this class has encouraged me to step out of my comfort zone and try new things. I have wanted to expand my knowledge and idea of art and what is considered art, and this class has encouraged me to explore art through a variety of ways and through different contemporary artists as well. I used to love art when I was younger, but I did not get much experience growing up as my school did not have much of an art program besides basic painting and drawing. So I saw this class as an opportunity to explore art and learn more about it, stepping out of my comfort zone and trying something new. Our arts education philosophy is to give students the opportunity to represent and express themselves creatively. Arts education is also a diverse way of learning as it is a multidisciplinary way of learning as art can be incorporated into every single subject area. Art education should encourage risk taking and having the students step out of their comfort zone by encouraging students to be creative and collaborative with one another. Art education is not just an art project. Students need to realize the reason behind the project as this will allow students to be engaged as they can make a difference in their community through their different forms of artworks. Through this project, students are given the opportunity to be creative and innovative and can design their own bottle cap artwork. First, students will be introduced to the community art project by exploring previous contemporary artists' work done with bottle caps, such as El Ntusei, who is an artist from Nigeria who creates many different pieces of artwork with bottle caps. We will also show students smaller examples of different pieces of artwork that they can do to contribute to reduce pollution. We are also going to include some facts about bottle caps as it takes about an average of 450 years to become biodegradable. Some even take up to a thousand years. This will lead us into talking about our mission and our goal to reduce pollution. We hope that this introduction will start to inspire students to think creatively and collaborate with one another to come up with their ideas. Students will start by creating posters about their bottle cap drive and distribute them throughout the community to raise awareness to the public about their idea to reduce pollution. These flyers and posters will allow the community to recognize the idea of recycling bottle caps to Sarkan. As Sarkan agreed to partner with schools to collect bottle caps from the community so they will save them for students to use in their art project. Two grades each week in the school will make a field trip to collect bottle caps while also discovering which things can be recycled and how it is done. Students will continue doing this until there is enough bottle caps to start their projects individually. High school students will then begin to organize an in-school market for the art auction while also completing their own bottle cap artwork. Once students are finished their artwork, each piece of artwork will be titled and include a write-up which just discusses the importance of reducing the pollution. Next, the students will hold an auction night to sell their artwork to the community. Money that is collected will be donated to an eco-friendly charity to contribute to cleaning up pollution in the ocean. This will allow students to become a part of cleaning up the city while also contributing to cleaning up the ocean. This is a multidisciplinary project that will take a few weeks to complete. For this project, we will need hot glue guns, bottle caps, paint and paintbrushes, magnets, cardboard, rubber gloves, and paper towel. Our budget for this project is very little, as most of the materials we need we have access to at the school, and the bottle caps are being donated from the community. However, we will need to take into account the cost of rubber gloves for the students, which will be needed as they sort through the bottle caps. We hope to contribute to the environment by teaching students about the different types of pollution and little things that we as individuals, as a school, and as a community can do to reduce it. Our hope is to raise awareness to the community on pollution while also teaching the students how to recycle and how to reuse items to create different pieces of artwork. This project allows students to work together with the community to reduce a small portion of pollution within the city of Saskatoon. We hope to have made a small impact on pollution within the city which will only grow stronger as alone we can do so little and together we can do so much.